Uh, but as I think, there might be a link for it on Discord. I can't remember if I'm honest. I think Rebellious posted a link on the Discord a little while ago. I should probably have pinned that. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope I'm right. I, I can't remember now, but I I do seem to recall something there. Cows are doing fine. Look at all them bales. So nice. God damn, we've got a lot of bales. <laughs> Should really do something about those. They're just kind of thrown in there, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Do you seem to have a little bit of overlap here? That's, that's fine. It's cool. 20 minutes and he's done. And he's not going to run out of fuel. <laughs> it's a bit touch and go there for a second, wasn't it? So well, now we did actually go down a little bit in money, so I do think it's kind of like that. It's just counting upwards um, instead of reducing the cost of the, of the helper, really. Yeah, it's going fine. Harvesting in the dark in late autumn. Why not? So is there any uh, any major thing about the uh, beta build 31 besides from the uh, food requirements? Anything we need to be aware of? You found it? Oh, that's good. So there was a link there on the Discord, weren't there? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Build 31, add nil check for, wow, that's a lot of text, <laughs> for root volume. Adjust parallel food group capacities based on heat weight. Uh, delay visual switch uh, low, so it works on clients. Fixed base game issue with lights during rain. Uh, fixed for weird value of daytime that is below 24 hours. Uh, causing a whole day of events to be cleared. Fix issues in animal menu where when a husbandry has billets incorrectly set up. Fixed issues in environment on day change updates with lag. Improves syncing. Right. I'm not 100% sure how much is fixed. Yes, it works. I can now use tractor for uh, use chase tractor for water drive. That's really cool. Lots of text, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of text. But there was nothing like major in it. There was a nil check that could be uh, could be a good idea to actually have. But we're not having any issues with it right now, so I'm I'm pretty cool with it. Would you look at that? The camera just all of a sudden stopped working. It's so weird it does that really weird I'll take care of it hang on a second guys what's up butters uh, the camera will be back in just a second guys So I thought I had the camera fixed, but turns out I didn't. Uh, you 
guys are gonna hear a little bit of bling 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 right now. There we go. Uh, the game audio will be back in a second as well. Go! <laughs> that is a proper dough, isn't it? Ah, it's so annoying. There we go. Camera's back. Camera's back and game audio is back as well. Sorry about that. Here I am. I need to take a look at that DSLR camera once again because it did this yesterday as well. Um, for some odd reason, I'm not sure why. So, there's a story to it, of course. There's a reason for it, but I need to figure out what it is. Uh, but as you were about to say something, what you said, guess what? I'm not sure what to guess. Oh, it's so dark. I'm so sorry, guys. We'll fix it in a second. I was going to up my sub. Oh, really? God damn, what the f... Mother... We're gonna head on over to the uh, the combine harvest instead because that's easier. You're gonna up your sub, damn dude. But it wants my wallet, but that's not beside me right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a greedy, greedy bastard, isn't it? It's just a greedy bastard. <laughs> I, I do appreciate it, but as I really do. You have no idea how much it helps. Um, I have to be honest, it, it's it's such a massive help that you guys want to do that. Uh, and it's beyond me that you do, but I, I appreciate it so much. Thought it would use my Amazon account. If you have an Amazon Prime, uh, you can use your free subscription, uh, so you can give that if you want to. If you have that Amazon Prime account, I'm not 100% sure how it works. I don't actually have an Amazon Prime account, but I know that every month you have uh, one free subscription to a Twitch channel that you can use uh, if you do have that Prime account. That's about as far as I know. I mean, that. That is, as far as my knowledge about Amazon affiliate and Amazon accounts um, extends, I do not know these things. I'm terrible. Also, you uh, you have to wait, I think, for next month month before you can actually use it again. Is that where we are, Butters? I think that might be what's what what we're looking at. Seventeen minutes, and we should be done. That's fine, but it's fine. I'm happy that you're thinking about it. I really am. It, it means so much. Tony, hey, my friend, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? How are things in Finland tonight? Are you guys alive up there? Have you got as much rain as the rest of us? For fuck's sake. So, I was looking at the news. So, I live in this uh, sort of like valley area. I live in a very hilly area in Denmark. And this city that I live in has massive issues with water uh, whenever it rains a lot. So, part of the city get flooded. 
because the city is down in a valley. So all of the water is streaming from the hills into the valley and there is a, a fjord uh, right next to the city. Uh, and all of the water is streaming down to the city and wants to go out to the fjord and it has to go through the city to do that. So every time we have massive rainfalls, uh, we have flooding inside the city. And that happened as well these past two days. So Saturday, no, sorry, Friday. So yesterday when it was raining so much, we got a hundred milliliters of water, millimeters of water. We had a half month, month of rain on one day. That's crazy, isn't it? That's just, why do we get so much rain? So yeah, shops down in, in the center of the city are, are flooded and basements and pedestrian, and not pedestrian, bases and houses down there are flooded as well and so on. It's horrible. I live, uh, I live on top of the hill. So I live on a high ground and, and we don't struggle with water at all, at all. Well, we struggle with water in the fact that the ground can't actually handle the water. So our lawn right now is just a, uh, a swimming pool, pretty much. But right now it's not raining. It rained a little bit today, but not, not really a lot. Pretty nice. Been so fucking busy this week, probably not gonna have a day off in October. But yes, it's been a couple of rainy days now. So muddy today when I was transporting my machine to the next work area. Yeah, I can imagine. Jesus. Yeah, if in the site the forest, it must be it must be like a nightmare driving around in there. Brandon, hey my friend, welcome to the stream. How are you today? I'm thinking about taking over driving manually on the combine. I think that might work better, actually. Should I do that? You know what? I'm gonna do that. Stop the driver. Why do we have... How is the harvest going? Are you gonna get everything harvested? It looks like it. It it really looks like it. Finally, this um Well, there's a plus and a minus about it, because yes, it does look like we're gonna have everything harvested this year. Uh but we're gonna have to do all of the harvest during night because if we look at the uh, weather forecast, we got rain coming tonight. So the good thing is, we're gonna have everything harvested. The bad thing is, you guys are gonna have to watch it in the dark. So I told the girl, you know, that uh, that one ahead, she said, then do you want anything else than head? Damn. Seems like she's up for it, huh? There we go, a little bit more light. But yes, we are getting, this is the final field. We got all the other fields harvested. So this is the final one. And once we're done with this field, we're going to save the game. Uh, and then we're going to go and load um, the beta version that BGO and myself are working on. So BGO has done a ton of work to the map, um, a ton of work. So we now have 128 terrain angles instead of the 32 that is on the uh, map right now. BGO actually managed to get it up to 128 and it looks amazing. So we're gonna take a look at that once we're done with the harvest. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hang on a second, not that works. Will you be releasing this update? Uh, yes, I will, but not for a while. I wanna have, um... so Seasons guys has come out with some new updates for seasons so you can now have uh, snow missions um, so you can actually get missions during the winter to to clean up snow at certain places and I want to work that into the map as well uh, if you like playing simulators then play uh, Roblox I'll have a look at it definitely Brandon definitely is it a beta test of ISO you could call it that yes you could call it a beta test so 
I'm not 100% sure how the map will perform with 128 terrain angles compared to the 32 that we have now. I only did a very, very brief test of it earlier today. That seemed to be doing fine. Um, but that was a, uh, a pure test that was without seasons, that was, that was without any of the mods that we use. So I kind of want to have a look and see how it is when we have animals on the map, when we're using seasons, when, when there's a lot going on on the map. Hopefully it's going to be really fine. I think it's going to be good. I mean, BGO knows what he's doing and, and I trust that everything is fine there. Um, but we're going to have a look at it in not too long. We're almost done with this field. There's going to be a map with 4K textures. Shit me. Well, I hope you guys have a beefy computer. <laughs> Although not for console, no. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Roblox, Roblox is like a game with different um, genres of games. They have simulation of some... Some of them are wild like fighting, but some are calm like kid friendly. Okay, cool. What angle is that? Like when you plow? Yes, that's right. Um, they, um, so yes, whenever you plow, whenever you do anything that has anything to do with uh, the soil, so plowing, cultivating, um, planting and so on, uh, these angles, so the standard game has four. I think it's four angle angles the standard game has. And I, I up that to 32 just to make it look smoother. But whenever I got above 64, the game started to lag for me and I couldn't actually get it working. So BGO has has been uh, working hard on, on fixing that. And he actually managed to get it up to 128. That's really cool. Uh, my mistake of grammar and spelling. That's cool, Brenda. That's fine. Rebel, are you talking about the map that Oxygen David is making? I did see that he's making something there. 4K, um, 4K textures is amazing. But surely, performance must take a hit with textures that massive. Are we, uh, do we have all of the lights turned on? There we go. I could be wrong, of course, I could be wrong. Oxygen David definitely knows what he's doing. Um, so he might be able to optimize it as, as much as possible. He's really good at making maps, sadly, he only makes British maps. Yeah, he is definitely good. That's true, he, he knows what he's doing. So fucking hard to see in the dark. <laughs> it is. It's really fucking hard. Can we get the tractor, please? We're almost done. Almost done. Let's have a look at the overlay. Let's see how far we are. So... We only have this left. It's gonna be fine. Almost done. Uh, if we could get a tractor, that would be really nice. Where is he? What's he doing? He's done loan up from FS19, although that was Bullet Bill. Did Bullet Bill uh, stop making maps? How the fuck do you even understand this? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> the dream map would be Data Loan versus Oxygen David. Oh shit. We could, well. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I think uh I think we definitely could come up with something pretty cool. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pat myself on the back here. Yeah, he's done for FS19. I can't say I blame him. But I'm pretty sure that we could come up with something really cool. It would be fun. Should we give uh, the cow some, some food? There we go. 
Let me get a tractor, please. Come on. God damn it. I don't think that would happen. Nah, me neither. Me neither, but you never say never. Who knows? Um, the age of miracles is not over, is it? I don't know. Can we get a tractor? There should be a tractor coming up right up there in just a second now. Tractor, come on. But how is it, Data? Are you working on another map? Or what was the thing about a smaller map you talked about the other day? Uh, I'm not working on one. I, I have an idea for another map, definitely. Um, I do have a lot of things that I would like to try out for a new map. I don't think I'm gonna. If I'm honest, I don't think I'm gonna. Uh, it's so much work and a lot of the things that I want to try out, I'm not even sure is possible. Um, and if I am going to be working on a new map, it would take a long time before it would be done. It would be something that I'll be working on behind the scenes. Um, but who knows? I mean, who knows? I'm thinking about a smaller map. Should you be at work? Actually, no, Brandon. Uh, I, I shouldn't. I don't have the job right now. This is, this is what I do, um, and not for a living. But no. Currently, I'm, I'm unemployed. Maybe something for FS21. Yeah, it would be for FS21 if if I am to make another map. So I spent about two years in this map, two and a half years perhaps. Um. Granted, a lot of that was spent in in 17, and I've not spent that much time on it in 19, obviously. But I have spent at least half a year in 19, uh, setting everything up. And it, it will take a long time to make a new map, but it would be pretty cool. I would love to do it. I do have a lot of ideas on, on what can be done. Three, two, one. Can we get going a little bit? Just a tiny bit. Plus it's 8.20 p 8 p.m. for you. Some people ain't working at that time. That's true. It is. It is 20 past 8 in the evening. I'm thinking about streaming during daytime a lot more. If I can get everything to work out, I will be streaming during daytime. Uh, why is 6 is afraid of 7? Oh shit, Brandon, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, I would like to stream during daytime. Um, for various reasons. Right now, it's not really possible. Right now, I can only stream in the evening. But hopefully we can change that. I know, uh, Tony, you were talking about earlier on that you would like, uh, because 789, eh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, Tony, you were talking about you would like to have a daytime stream so you could actually watch it uh, while you're at work. Who knows if, if we can make that a possibility. That would be pretty fun, actually. Although, of course, a lot of you guys would not be able to watch it if I stream during daytime. Yeah, I'm looking forward to those day streams. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine, definitely. Uh, is he stuck? Or is he just pretending to be stuck? I think he's just pretending. Surely he's just pretending. Yeah, there we go. He's unstuck. So maybe, maybe during perhaps next week, 
I can do a little bit of daytime streaming, actually. Why the fuck do you need a tractor of that vehicle you have? Uh, it's way more better. Uh, because this vehicle has a limited storage amount, so I need a tractor to um, to drive the grain away from the from the combine. Otherwise, I can't continue combining. So we're almost full. We're at seventy-four percent now. So I need a tractor to come and unload. The tractor will take the grain back to the silo. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of I kind of got it. <laughs> so it's basically just the storage capacity on the combine is not really massive. Well, it is big. I mean, it can hold a lot, but I need it to be emptied out. Here he comes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Should pay attention to where I'm going. Is that going to fuck him up now? Ah, uh, he's fine. Uh, I thought he was fine. That did fuck him up. Who knows? Please don't crash into me. Come on, we're almost done. There we go. We're almost done with this field. Could you please come over here and start unloading the combine? That would be really, really good. I would like that so much. No? You, you don't want to come over here? Don't crash into me, please don't crash into me. <laughs> I think that guy just really likes driving that tractor. He's just like, oh my god, I get to drive the tractor. I better make the most of it. Don't crash into me. No. Oh no. We're gonna do it manually then. Question about the auto drive. How do you I get eye assault courses into it? Uh if you update your auto drive, they should be built in. It should be there from the beginning if you update to the latest version of auto drive. Uh from the uh I, from the uh auto drive GitHub. So if you use the auto drive from the in-game mod hub, you need to download uh, from uh, from the Google Drive that I set up. So if you go to the Discord, oops, you can go into the Google Drive where you find the map, and there is a folder with the. Um, you did that today. All right, so you don't have the eye assault in there. I suppose then, if, seeing as you're asking for it. Otherwise, you can go into the Google Drive from the Discord. <laughs> In the Google Drive, there is a uh, auto drive folder. There should be an XML file in there, and that XML file. If you download that and you put it into your save game folder, I can show you once we're done here. So all you need to do is put that XML file into your save game folder and uh, it should be fine. It might be for AutoDrive to work, I mean for it to be there automatically when you start up AutoDrive, but that might require a new save game. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see in just a second. I say a second, I mean we're pretty much done with this field. As soon as we're done with this field, I'll show you. I saw the XML file, but it didn't work. Oh really? So the XML file in the save game 
if uh, it should be around 1200 something you copy it to the save game that's right yeah so it has to be the xml file not the folder it has to be the xml file itself and you just place it within the save game folder and that should work that should be it. Wow, we spent a lot of time harvesting, <laughs> haven't we? It's just second year harvest has been a long one. And most of it's done in the dark as well, due to weather. Really isn't a lot we've got left now. Almost done. Can I request a song? Oh, I'm sorry you can't, Brandon. I'm sorry, I don't have song requests enabled. I'll have to test it next time, but if you could make a fast tutorial, that would be awesome. I can. In a tiny bit, I will show you what to do. So if it doesn't work, as soon as you download uh, the latest version of Auto Drive, I'll show you in just a second what to do. So Brandon, I'm sorry, I, uh, I upload uh, all of these streams to YouTube afterwards, and YouTube is a bitch about songs and copyright and all of that. So if I upload a, uh, um, a copyrighted song to YouTube, they will take away all the sound, and, and I don't want that. So I just use generic, non-copyrighted music in the background. We almost done. Almost done. This is going to be so nice. Having all of this done, it's going to be amazing. Hashtag amazable. Did you guys know you had a high beam and a low beam in the light? <laughs> I didn't find that out until well, quite recently. Uh, where is it? There we go. <laughs> This is the final patch of barley and we're done. Once this is harvested, harvest for year two and I assault is over. Oh, we can take that one as well. Can we? just, just because. There we go. I am going to take over here. Stop driving away from me, you pillock. Why is there a light on the left side, but not on the right? Uh, I think I can show you here. So on the left side, we have the spout, uh, the pipe going out. We don't have that on the right side. So the light coming on the left side is coming from uh, the pipe here. It's very, very dark and very difficult to see. Are we not going to be able to hold the entire load here? Oh, we're probably not. Can we, uh, can we get all of it? That'd be pretty nice. Garage or least items, let's return the combine. By the way, have you already tested to transfer the save game to the new map? Yeah. Yes, you're fucking done! <laughs> and let's go for that. Yes, I did test that video. Um, 
so what I did was I took the uh, the current version of the map and put that into a RAW file, just packed it into a RAW file and saved it somewhere else. Then I took your version or our version, the new version, the upgraded version and put that into a zip file and put that into the mod folder and I did have a couple of issues there was a couple of things that weren't there was a couple of warnings but nothing to to really worry too much about and as long as we're not changing ground height level or stuff like that everything should be just fine I hope it did look fine though right <laughs> stop, 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 stop! Whoa! Holy shit! Trying to slow down that tractor with this load on the back going down that hill. That, that makes for interesting driving. Alright, so this trailer that we bought last time, I'm not a massive fan, if I'm honest. It's. I. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about selling it again because wow, the um, animation time on it is just tremendous. All right, as soon as this is done, we're going to save the map and we're going to go have a look at what we can do now. I've done a lot of that. What? Selling uh, stuff? For... <laughs> there we go. We're done. So, just have a look at how long it takes for it to actually lower the trailer again. That's all right. You don't have to be afraid. It's okay. How fucking silly is that? Oh, ground hide, etc. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I saw what you did with the uh, the sheep farm. That looked pretty cool. Uh, did you copy the new cultivated density to the save game folder? Uh, could be an issue if not on already existing save game. I didn't, actually. Let's, uh, let's uh, save it and let's go have a look at what we can do. So. Quit. And you guys can't see a bloody thing in a second. I'm going to go into screen share instead in just a second. All right, let's go out of the game and let's go into a screen share in. There we go. Hi, guys. This is uh, my background. Here you go. This is my computer stats on it. Oh, well, the stats, no, it's, it's um, Monitoring. I did get rid of the sheep, but bad idea. Now I bought field 17 and sold other fields. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So what you want to do, um, Tony, we want to go into our documents and into my games, if I can find it. There we go. And into farming Simulator 19 and into your save game. So for us, we're on save game number three. So in here, we have the auto drive ISL config XML. What you need to look at, you probably already have that in your uh, save game folder. But the one that you might have might just be on one kilobyte. You want it to be at 1246 kilobyte. And you get this auto drive config XML. You get that from the, um, the Google Drive. Uh, yes, that was just about it. So I am going to go into mods. Next to sheep farm, there's some abandoned land, but linked to field 17, found a bridge for shop farm. Or for a replaceable area. Yeah, that's right. I did uh, I did make that area over there just a um, just a uh, abandoned land. You're welcome, my, my friend. Right, so we're gonna take eye assault. So this is the uh, documents my games farming simulator 2019 mods. 
this is the uh, standard vanilla mod folder something for exoshed data storage area and maybe rule area it does look pretty good what you've done there i'm gonna take this one out i'm just gonna place it on the desktop so it's right here so right now we don't have i assault the official released version that is the one laying right there i have to go now good night to all Tony, thank you so much for uh, for joining today. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful uh, night and you sleep tight. And do be careful not to overwork yourself. Right, let's go into map building. Um, right, so this is a folder that I use for building map. So as you can see, I have Iosold in here, which is unpacked. Um, I'm going to copy this one. I'm just going to copy the unpacked version of it over to the official map folder. So what this will do, seeing as it's unpacked, so it's not zipped as the other mods in here, this means that I can't use it in multiplayer. I can only use this in single player. That's fine. It's just for testing purposes. So what I can show you in here, if I go into the mod desk, just going to pull that over here so you can see right here this is version 109 uh, of ISO so the version that is out right now is 108 so this is the uh, updated version um, and that's basically it that's pretty much it guys so we should be uh, should be good to go back on the game hi I'm back I'll be back Right, so, actually before we do this, before we do this, sorry about that, let's go back to screen share, a good idea to do before we, uh, before we do all of this is we're going to go into the uh, Farming Simulator 2019 folder again, so save game number three is the save game that we're working on, this is the save game that we use for, for our stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to a raw archive. So I'm just going to call it save game three raw. This is my backup in case everything goes tits up. We have something that we can revert back to. So now we have the save game raw here. Uh, a very, very good idea. If you are working with anything and you want to test something out and you want to test it on an existing save game, especially if it's a save game that you play a lot on, go ahead and do this. Just have it either a raw file or a zip file or anything just back it up just to be sure a water pipe and landscaping would be would work better but rich will do all right yeah, yeah. um there's a save game backup folder you're absolutely right rebellious you are 100 percent right but you have to go in here and you have to search for it. You have to take the latest one. This is so much easier, but you do you. <laughs> Suppose that's what I'm trying to say. You do you. This is a good way of doing it. And this is an easy way of doing it. And you can always get this one back. You don't have to go into the save game backup to figure what, out which one you want to use. You can do it this way. But if you want to go the other way around it, go for it. You do you. Right. Let's go into gameplay. And that started all up. Uh, here we go. So now, if we go in here and we have a look, we find I assault in here somewhere. There we go. So I assault is now version 1.0.0.9. Uh, so all that's left to do is just press start. And we should get a bit of warnings here, and we should possibly get a couple of errors as well. If I'm not 100% mistaken, we should actually get a couple of errors, but it should work. So these errors that I get uh, is something that I'm going to look at later on and see. Yeah, the GDM file has a wrong number of challenge, uh, channels. Oh, would you look at that? It actually did crash. God damn it. All right. So in save game three we have the cultivator density 
the D GDM. Uh, this is from the old save game. This is from the version 1.0.0.8. Uh, you guys can't see that because I am not on the right mode. Here we go. Hi, you guys can't see it. Here we go. So the cultivator density in the save game 3, this file right here, is from the old save game. That is, this is from the old version of the map. I am doing bad. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you. How are you, my friend? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Um, so this one, we're going to go ahead and take the one from the modded version of I Assault. Oh, shit. That was the wrong one. Nope, that was the right one. I hope this is making sense. That's what I want to say. Yeah. If you release this update, you might want to make a walkthrough for this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, it's not 100% sure yet. So the cultivator density is inside the map 01. Cultivated density. Um, there we go. So uh, I do have an original file and a standard file and so on. But we want to go for this one. So I'm going to copy that one from the new map and put it into the old save game. There we go. Let's see if this works. Hopefully, everything is going to go fine. We're going to try. Yeah, BGO, you're right. Um, this should possibly uh, have been done prior to actually starting it. Hellcare, welcome to the stream. How are you, my friend? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. Let's switch to this one. So let's try it again. Again, we're still on the uh, 109. Let's try it. It's not, uh, it's not a given that it works. It didn't. We crashed. All right. Well, seeing as we crashed, we're going to go back <laughs> to the, uh, the old version then. Um, just because. Mr. Mufasa, hey, data chat. Hey, my friend, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. So what we did here... We did change a file inside the save game. I'm going to go over to screen share. Doing well, how's you? How's things? Things are good, thank you. Do you need to restart farm sim? Uh, well, it crashed, so every time I start it, I restart it. There's, <laughs> I can't restart it any more than this. Anyway, it didn't work. So what I can do now is I can go ahead and say, do you want to delete the save game? Yes, I do. There we go, and I can unpack this to save game three. There we go. And I can delete the raw file. And now I can go into mods, and I can delete that one. Yeah, 128 crash again. It actually worked for me earlier on today. Uh, so I thought we could go ahead and check it out in the stream, but Unfortunately, it didn't work in the stream. All right, we're back to how it was before. Now we're back to, we just reverted back to the uh, 108 instead of the 109. So um, let's give it a go again, see how it goes. Give it another try. Uh, it doesn't, uh, yeah, I could of course have done that. I suppose. Hang on a second, I need to start the game. There we go. Wow, that took a while. Too late now. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we can still, it's an easy, uh, it's easy to, uh, to swap over if it is, so it doesn't really matter that much. Now let's have a look, because now we should be on 108. So now we're 108 again. It's fine. I'll look into it for next stream. I, I did try it earlier today and it worked just fine. It's really weird, it doesn't right now. I actually didn't need to change anything when I tried it earlier today. I don't know what's going on.
any errors in loading doesn't appear to appear to be any errors here that's fine there's a lot of loading going on <laughs> for loading this map all right well a good thing is though that we can go ahead and sleep a bit so we're gonna be sleeping for 10 hours actually let's sleep for 11 and we can get some light back i did say light but not really late autumn That's a little bit of a bummer that didn't work. Oh well, never mind. Also delete the save game backups then? Mm, yeah. Well you think the backup, the save game backup has been changed now? I think it should be fine. I hope so. Let's just get this trailer over here. So I just had an embarrassing moment. Alright. Uh, anything you want to share, my friend? I ran out of fuel while bailing. Oh shit. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, let's have a look at the animals. How are we doing on the animals? Well, the cows obviously are fine. You got 200,000 liters of fuel. You, you ran out of fuel while bailing. You must have been uh, kind of desperate to get that fuel inside or get that those bales inside, huh? can understand that. I mean, the bales are needed. Don't know why, but it works for me when it crashes. All right. Um, I'll take a look at it after streaming and see what I can do, BGO. Um, what's really weird was that it actually just worked earlier today. But it's fine. We'll get it working, no doubt. So, so I was on the season beta and had issues. Season wouldn't allow me to advance past early autumn. It just skipped to early spring, but froze time, and I couldn't save the game. I had to go back to 101. Oh shit! That's weird, Mufasa. That's bloody weird. So I had an issue uh, with the 128 map and I fixed it earlier today. I found out what, why I was having that issue. That, well, I, I think it was because of uh, some extensions to a couple of texture files. So I had a couple of texture files that were textured as DDS and I changed those to .pgin um, in, uh, in an i3d file. And that fixed it for me, but I'm not sure that was it because for BGO, he has those same files and those are labeled as DDS files and it works fine for him. So weird why some things work on one side and not on the other side. I don't understand it. And the same with you, Mufasa, that error you had with Seasons. I don't have any issues with Seasons right now. Where works perfectly fine and I can advance time and so on. Although there was an issue if I was on year one, if I was on the first year of the save game, I couldn't advance either. At least that's what I think.
How will 128 go with multiplayer? The same as 32, I think. If it works fine in single player, it should be working fine in multiplayer as well. As well. This is the first year of my save game, so that makes sense. Yeah, I think I had that issue as well on the first year. I couldn't actually advance through, um, through time. Rebellious, I have no idea how it works in multiplayer. We're still testing. Absolutely still testing, so I have no idea. But from what I've seen so far, there shouldn't be any reason for worried and worrying at all. At least from what we're seeing right now. Yay, we got rain. Oh, we can speed up time now. That's nice, actually. Could be interesting, Mufasa, if you could uh, go through year one and then go to year two and see if you can actually advance. Uh, As you tried in, in your first save game there. I saw loads of black. Huh? Loads of black? <laughs> what? Yep, now that you said you had the same issue, I'm going to go back to beta ones. Uh, get through the first year. Yeah, just it could be interesting to see. Oh shit, I'm not paying attention to my driving. <laughs> There's no news in that, really. Um, let's let's have a look at prices. Let's see what we can actually sell. Elite Pace, thank you so much for that follow. Thank you, I do appreciate that a lot. Hey, welcome to the stream. Welcome, and I uh, hope you are doing good. Also, I told BGO earlier I figured out uh, what the keybinding warning was all about. The new Windows map makes the Xbox One controller all funky when it's plugged into a USB 3 port. Oh my fucking god. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Thank you so, so much for that cheer. Jesus, thank you. I appreciate it. Holy shit, thank you so much. Thank you so much for those five bits. Honestly, I do appreciate that. It's just crazy how uh, how a thing like a Windows update is just unbelievable. Thank you again for 10 bits. My God, thank you so much. Uh, I had that issue with beta build 31 as I started game with uh, Geo and then messed up. Oh shit. It was update, sorry, not with no map. <laughs> I was listening to you talk about the map while I was typing. Uh, it's fine. Thank you, Elite Pace, for those bits. I really appreciate it. You are now number one on the, uh, on the bit list, the tier list. Another 10 bits. Thank you so, so much. Holy shit, dude. Right, let's have a look at some pricing here, because I'm a bit curious. Weed is going up, barley is going up, and canola, how are we looking at that? We need to wait a little bit. Another 20 bits. Thank you so, so, so much. Richard, HR, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. Uh, what else do we have? How about potatoes? We do have a little bit of potato uh, in the silo that we possibly could go and sell, but we don't. We should wait a little bit. We, we're not really needing to. What I'm thinking, oh shit, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that either. <laughs> what I'm thinking is milk, which is very low. God damn it. I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, just came from hard working in the fields. Ah, oh. <laughs> so you decided to go for a little bit of farming simulator after <laughs> that farming. Elite Pace, Pace, thank you so much for those 40 bits. Wow, my friend, Jesus Christ, you are, 
slamming those bits at me right now. I like it. I have to be honest. I do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I was plowing. All right. I miss plowing. I have to be honest. I really do. For eight hours. Jesus. How's your neck? <laughs> How's your neck? You must be sitting like that a lot. 